Arch Linux is a great distribution and it offers a lot of cool benefits, but it is often promoted as the best of the best without mentioning any of the caveats. And those exist. That's why when I talk about it in my content, I always try to mention the caveats because it simply isn't meant for most people. And yeah, I know the Arch diehards will be annoyed by me always doing that, but oh well. I want beginners to be informed about the caveats so they don't run into them, and so I do it. One of those caveats is also something that a lot of people promote as being one of the best things about Arch, and that's the AUR, which is the Arch User Repository. The AUR is very cool, and you can find a lot of stuff that you might want in there. But there's a reason why the Arch Linux team do not provide access to it out of the box. It makes users manually set it up themselves. That reason is because it's a bit of a wild west. There's no real vetting process, and instead it's essentially a self-governed uh, process by the community. A lot of Arch users will drill down to read the package build files, but a lot don't. And with some Arch derivative distros providing the AUR very easily, sometimes out of the box, well, not everyone is aware of these potential pitfalls of the AUR. Anyone can make an AUR package, even without any credibility or trust. And that is what makes the AUR so good and kind of scary at the same time. This week, the Arch community found out that someone uploaded malicious AUR packages for a few browsers. These were called Firefox Patch Bin, LibreWolf Fix Bin, and Zen Browser Patched Bin. These packages installed a rat from the GitHub repo, a rat meaning remote access Trojan. The Arch team addressed this very quickly once it was recognized, and it only took a couple of days, which is great but it's not the first time this kind of thing has happened, and it most certainly won't be the last time this happens. Again, I like Arch, and I used to use it as my daily driver, but I, I also feel it's necessary to talk about the downsides of Arch, not only talking about the good stuff. I just want new users, not necessarily any, any new user. If you want to use Arch, you absolutely should if you feel like you can handle the ups and downs of it, but beginners, I think beginners need to be informed when they get started rather than finding out stuff the hard way like I did. I mean, there was no other way back then because, you know, a bunch of didn't even exist. But these days, it's different.